Okay, now for something a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure how to call this or what name this technique has. I call it the Puliaev backdrop because I saw Puliaev doing it. Um, and yeah, it's what he does. He drops to the back. It's not one of the special techniques and it's not what I would call a high percentage technique, but it's a very fun one and it works from time to time. So you can try it. The situation he does it from is he has this one-handed situation where he has um, one, arm, one grip on the sleeve, cross in front of his body. My second hand is in his belt. I'm going to show it from the other side in a second. The obvious things to do from here are kind of like hip throw or start to go for Ouchi, Kouchi, or the absolute standard push him down and then go for Yokosumigeishi. He knows that. He knows that I want to go for Yukusumi Geishi when I'm here. That's all I want. So he's going to defend against that. He doesn't want that. He's trying to go, uh, he'll try to stand up again, to go against my, my push down, and he will probably try to make it difficult for me to get in with my leg here. So he's going to try to stop that from going in. What I do now is I just drop behind him. I will try to lay down in a line behind his feet, here, and just pull him over. So I have his, um, his belt and his sleeve. I push him down. I want to go for Yukusumi Geishi. He's defending. He's not letting me in front here. He's trying to go back up, get back up again. And I use that movement to just drop straight behind him. That's how Puliev does it. I tried it a few times in Randori and I had a lot of fun with it. The issue I had is this grip doesn't give you a lot of um, control over his shoulders. And the problem I had that was that as soon as people knew I was doing stuff like that, they'd always turn out. And they'd always manage to just um, land on their, on their belly or and not land Ipon. So I am switched it around a little bit. I go in and I manage, he, I, I feel that he's going up again and I can go for the back drop. I let go of this and instead I try to grab, you know, I try to grab the back of the neck here. My elbow is still in front so I can pull down and still give him a little bit of pressure. If I can get him down again, I can still go for the Yukosumi Geishi. If he goes up, now I have to switch my grip up once, but this gives me far more control over his shoulders. If I pull this hand down, uh, it's far, far more difficult for him at least to turn around. And even if he does, I have a very good situation to attack him now, when I already have this grip. So yeah, that's it essentially. It's a fun little technique. Don't try to make this your special technique. It's not going to work that often, but it is fun. So yeah, give it a try. Okay, now let's go into tournament examples. First one, obviously Pudiev in white against Seidel in blue. And he starts off with a left-handed or left-sided grip and kind of just attacks him with um, his feet and he starts going behind him. He goes behind him, attacks um, the leg, which doesn't really work. And what he does now is he completely switches sides. He lets go with his right hand, takes the sleeve here, lets go with left hand and takes the belt. There's the right hand switch to the arm, left hand switch here to the belt. And once he's got the belt, he goes down. Now here's um, one difference from the way Puliev does it to my variation or my version. Puliev always uses this leg. He hooks it into the back of the knee here. Um, you can do that. It gives you a little bit more control over the legs. You can also do it with this leg. Instead, you could use this foot to hook in here. 
And in my experience, when I tried this, it, this is relatively unimportant because it gives you more control over the legs. But the main problem that makes this throw very hard to get it on with is that he can twist his upper body and you don't get him to fall on his shoulders up here. And more control down here has, at least in my experience, very, very little effect on how he falls up here. But yeah, try both and see what works for you. You can also see here um, now in a few seconds when I show you the actual, um, yeah, the actual, actual execution of the throw why I switch my right hand to the neck instead of the end of the uh, of the sleeve. So he pulls him down. Here's the grip in the belt. Here he has the very end of the sleeve. And here his knee is inserted, his foot in the back of the leg. And when he pulls him down now, it's very easy for Seidel to twist his upper body to the side. And he falls for Yuko in this case. By now it would be Vasari. In my experience, it's easier to control um, his upper body and it's more um, make it a little bit more difficult for your opponent to do this turn when you have this hand not here on the sleeve, but in the, in the back of the neck here, um, right in the middle of his back. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to get that grip, but if you get it, I think in my experience, it makes the, the throw stronger. I prefer it that way. So he goes down. Let's look at that again. So complete switch of sides. He's on this side, plays around with the legs, switches the grip over here, switches the grip to the, um, to the belt, goes in. There's the leg he uses that I think is nah, a little bit unnecessary. Just throw yourself behind your opponent and pull down with both hands. This is the second example, Puliev in white against Basile in blue. And with this example, I can go a little bit more into detail why I, I think that the leg Puliev likes to use is not that important and why I prefer my grip with the belt and the neck. So the technique starts again from a bit of a frantic situation. Puliev starts out uh, not Puliev, Basile starts out with his swinging Uchimata attack. He loses his grip, let's go with both hands. Puliev, probably happy that that Uchimata didn't work. Also, let's go with both hands, but instantly starts to follow um, up and tries to get a grip again. His right hand does catch the, the sleeve here, down here. His left hand doesn't get the belt, instead he gets um, here the lower back end of the, of the gi. And Puglia, uh, Basile is probably a little bit confused right now. Goes forward as Puliev is going back. The point here is going forward here doesn't really help you because uh, when somebody with your the same body weight as you have throws himself behind you, that, that's so much momentum and so much weight just hanging off behind you, you're going to fall back. So that doesn't help you. But this grip is a problem because now he is quite far away from um, Basile's body with both of his hands from the center of gravity. He does um, get the leg in. So his knee pushes in here, his foot is hooked in. That gives him control over the leg, but both of his hands are very far away from Basile's actual body. This one is very far away from everything because it's only on the gi and the gi is completely out of the belt. This one, he control, only controls the arm here. He does control the leg with, uh, with his foot down here and he can push up on that. But all that does is it flips him back. It doesn't control the rotation of Basile's upper body. And Basile quite easily uses that freedom of movement he has to turn out. And that's no score. So that's the reason why I think the grip is the most important thing. The leg, um, the way he uses it here, yeah, it's a, 
it's a nice variation, it's a nice touch. I've tried it and it works and it can help you. But what it th does help you with, it helps you with breaking your opponent's balance to the back and pushing him over, which is rarely a problem. At least for me, it was rarely a problem when I tried this technique. What was a problem was opponents turning to the sides, turning out of the throw. The leg doesn't help you at all with that. What helps you is really having this hand at the belt. And personally, I think this hand up here in the neck. But as always, there are many variations. I'm not saying that one of them is the best or the, the only correct one. Um, I'm giving you ideas here. Try what you want and play around with it. Play around with different grips. Maybe there's something that works even better for you. And most importantly, have fun with this technique. It's really enjoyable. It's different. It's unique. That's what I really like. So yeah, have a good time.